Welcome to Invest Ed. Okay, welcome sa part 2 ng pag-analyze natin at pag-review sa company na Jamie 7. Okay? Okay, so dito sa part 2, matututunan natin dito yung kanilang financial position, uh, future growth, analyst estimate, and yung kanya intrinsic value. No? Dito natin malalaman kung Uh, it is considered na buy ratings ba tayo in terms of intrinsic value alone. Okay guys, so tara sama nyo ako at umpisa na natin pag-aralan ulit ang JME7. Kung ready na kayo, let's start and see you on the other side. Welcome sa market performance na JME7. No? So for the past 7 days, nag-return si JME7 ng 0.8%. Well, the... Media industries or yung kanyang industries nag-return ng 0.5% and the Philippine market nag-return ng uh, 0.3%. Okay? In respect to return versus industries, uh, JME7 exceeds its uh, industries which return a 33.8% over the past year. No? Nakikita natin. And versus the market, no? JME7 versus the market, JME7 exceeds the Philippine market which returned a negative 25.5% over the past year. Nakikita natin din, no? Okay? Okay, this is the P.E. ratio of JME7, no? Nakikita natin dito, comparing to the industries na JME7, um, JME7 is a good value base on P.E. ratio compared to the industries na kinabibilangan niya, okay? Because the industries na kinabibilangan niya, merong average na 20, um, 23.4 PE ratio and si JME7 ay merong 9.4 PE ratio lang, okay? And comparing to the market, no, JME7 is a good value based on its PE ratio compared to the market. Because PE, uh, market, ang market ay merong average na 13.1, okay? And in terms of price to book ratio ni JME7, nakikita natin dito na uh, 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 price to book ratio of JME7 versus the industries, um, JME7 is a overvalue based on its price to book ratio compared to the industries na kinabibilangan niya. Okay, kasi nakikita natin na si JME7 ay meron 2.2 while the industries ay meron 1.5 no? and the market ay meron 1. So, price to book ratio, no? dito, dito tinitignan natin, kinocompare natin yung sa industries niya and the market kung Uh, mas mababa no kung mas mababa yung uh, price to book ratio ng company compare sa uh, industries and market ibig sabihin no it is considered undervalue kapag mas mataas naman yung price to book ratio ng company versus the industries and market it is considered overvalue so, which in this case no nakita natin na overvalue in terms of or in respect to price to book ratio ni Uh, GMA7, okay? And also, no, uh, GMA7 Network forecasted a performance to perform in the next 1 to 3 years based on estimate of analysts, no? So, yung kanilang forecast annual revenue growth ay merong 10.4%, okay? Based on analyst estimates, no? Also, in respect to future return on equity ni Jeremy, nakikita natin dito na yung company ay merong expected future return on equity in 3 years na 25.5%, okay? Comparing to the industries na average na meron 5, uh, 7.6%, okay? So, in terms of future ROE, JME7 return on equity is forecasted to be high in 3 years times na meron 25.5%. Nakikita natin, no, na maganda yung kanilang uh, future return on equity, no? Okay, and this is the past performance of JME7 over the past 5 years, no? Historically, yung kanilang annual earnings growth ay umabot ang 0.9% lang. So, mababa yung kanilang earnings growth, no? Okay, and this is the, okay, this is the earnings revenue history ni JME7, no? From 2013, um, mayroon silang revenue na 12.5 billion and mayroon sa earnings na 1 billion, no? And mayroon sa net profit margin na 8.4. And comparing to the uh, uh, 2020, nakikita natin na meron silang uh, meron na silang 15.3 billion pesos and earnings na 1.8 and net profit margin na 12%, no? Okay? And so in respect to high quality earnings, JM7 has high quality of earnings. And growing profit margin nakikita natin na uh, JM7 current net profit margin 
are higher than last year, no? So, last year, meron silang uh, 10.6% and now, meron silang net profit margin na 12.1%. Okay? And this is the financial health of JME7, no? And yung kanyang financial position. So, nakikita natin dito, yung kanyang short-term assets ay merong 10.83 and short-term liabilities na merong 4.89, no? So, nakikita natin na sobrang laki ng difference niya. So, magandang tignan niyan, no? And ang meaning na short term assets no ito na yung ito yung assets na na, na kaya niya i-convert into cash within a year. And short term liabilities ito naman yung obligations na company na binabayaran within a year. And long term assets ito naman yung kaya ng i-convert. Ito yung assets niya na kaya niya i-convert into cash more than a year. And yung obligations na company na Okay, and ito yung obligations na company more than a year naman. Okay, so nakikita natin na sobrang ganda ng financial position ni JME7. Okay? Also, in terms of short-term liabilities, JME7 short-term assets exceed its short-term liabilities. So nakikita naman natin, no? laki ng difference. And kagandahan pa dito kay JME7, no? yung kanilang financial positions in terms of long-term liabilities, JME7 JME short-term assets Uh, exceeds its short, exceeds its long term liabilities no nakikita natin yung kanilang long term liabilities lang ay mayroong 3.4 billion and yung kanyang short term assets ay mayroong 10.8 billion no nakikita natin and this the debt to equity history ni uh, JME7 no? nakikita natin dito na talagang wala silang utang ngayon no and yung kanilang equity nakikita natin no na debt to equity ratio ay zero which is maganda yan no okay So, in times ng pandemic, so talagang, talagang kailangan na matiba yung financial position natin. Kasi kapag um, uh, maraming utang, maraming marami interest na binabayaran, di ba? katulad nito, maraming lockdown. So, maraming businesses ang, ang apektado. No? So, nakikita natin dito kay JME7 no, na maganda yung kanilang debt to equity ratio. No? So, comparing to the 2013 na mayroon silang debt to equity ratio na 18.1%. And now, meron silang debt equity ratio na zero. So, nakikita natin na maganda. Okay? So, anong meaning nito debt to equity ratio? No? Ang meaning nito, and every one peso na ginagamit ni JME7 sa kanilang operation, uh, 0% on finance by utang. So, walang lahat ng kanilang ginagamit sa operations ay pure profit nila. Okay? So, which is maganda yung ganitong uh, nakikita natin sitwasyon sa kanya. Okay? Also, in terms of debt level, no, JME7 is debt free. And uh, in terms of reducing of debt, check din tayo dyan. JME7 has no debt compared to 5 years ago when its debt equity ratio has uh, was 25.8%. Okay? And respect to debt coverage, check tayo dyan because JME7 has no debt, therefore, it does have Therefore, it does not need to cover by operating cash flow. So, check na check tayo dyan. In terms of interest coverage kay JME7, nakikita natin dito na JME7 has no debt. Therefore, coverage of interest payment is no concern or is not concerned. Okay, guys? And this is the balance sheet snapshot of JMA7. So, nakikita natin dito, no, no, green na green yung kanilang balance sheet snapshot, no? And this is the dividend of JME7. No? Nakikita natin dito, na yung kanyang current dividend kit ay mayroong 5.81. Okay? And comparing to the uh, current dividend kit of a company versus market or an industry, nakikita natin dito, uh, mayroong 5.8 uh, divid current dividend kit sa si JME. While the market, uh, market bottom ay mayroong uh, 1.6 and market top 25% mayroong 4.7. So talagang, Nakita natin na na out uh, na out perform na out perform ni JME7 itong um, market bottom and market top no and in terms of industry average meron siyang um, 2% uh, dividend no so na out perform din niya yung ating industry's average okay and this is the stability growth payments of JME7 nakikita natin dito um, in 2010 na meron siyang dividend yield na Uh, 6.6% and dividend per share na 0.45 uh, peso 0.45 uh, per share okay and now meron na siyang 
in 2020, uh, 5.8 dividend yield and dividend per share na 0. Point, um, 0. 0.3, no? Nakikita natin na medyo bumaba yung kanilang dividend yield from 2010 to 2020, okay? And in respect to payout to shareholders, no? nakikita natin dito na yung kanilang current payout ratio ngayon ay, nas ay nasa 54, no? Dividend, in terms of, or in respect to dividend coverage, with its reasonable payout ratio na 54.5%, GMA7 dividend payments are covered by earnings. Nakikita natin naman na um, 54% na kanilang earnings sa binibigay sa dividend. So, ayun yun na. Okay, and this is the leadership team of GMA7. Nakikita natin dito na um, yung kanilang chairman and CEO na si Filipe Gozon, no? na merong chinur na sa pampani na 19.92, halos 20 years na. no Talagang... Uh, batika na siya dito, no? And, this is the rest of uh, leadership team of GMA7. Yung manang mumuno na sa GMA. Bye, guys. So, in respect to experience management, nakita natin dito na GMA7 management team is season and experience kasi may average tinur sila na 7.7 years average. And, meron din siya na also average age is, ay nasa 56 years old. Okay? And in respect to board members, so nakikita natin dito yung mga board members ng GMS 7, okay? And sa kanilang board, experienced board member, nakikita natin dito yung GMS 7 board of directors as season and experience kasi may average tinuro sila na 18.7 years and meron silang average age na 57 years old, okay? So dito no, sa board of directors pinapalaga pinapangalagaan nila yung kapakanan ng mga shareholders, okay? And this is the ownership breakdown of James 7. So 99.1% owned by private companies and uh 0.6% uh, owned by individual insider and 0.2% owned by employee share and 0.2% uh, owned by institutions. So, nakikita natin dito no, yung kanilang ownership breakdown. And in terms of dilution of shares or diluted, uh, dilution of shares, no, uh, check tayo dyan because shareholders have not been meaningfully dilute, diluted in the past year. Okay? So, sa mga hindi nakakaalam po ano yung meaning ng dilute, diluted shares, no, kapag nag-i-issue ng new share, yung mga shareholder, kapag nag-i-issue ng new share, yung company, or nag-raise ng share, okay, bumababa yung ownership of uh, shareholders. Okay? Yung percentage of ownership ng mga shareholders. And also, this is the top shareholders of JME7, no? Nakikita natin dito na uh, 42.38% owned by Television International Corporation and nagkakalaga ng 7.3 billion pesos. And this is the rest of top shareholders of JME7. Okay? Okay, guys? Okay? Okay, ngayon, titignan na natin dito yung kanyang intrinsic value ngayon. No? Kung ano yung current uh, fair value ngayon ni JME7. Uh, okay? okay? Para makuha yung intrinsic value ng company, no? So, kailangan natin ng forecasted net income in 2020 ni Jemmy 7, no? So, ang ating nakuha, no, ay itong uh, 2.2 billion pesos forecasted net income ni Jemmy 7, no? So, ito yung ating gagamitin para makuha yung ating future market capitalization ni GMA. So, para makuha yon, kailangan natin din ng um, um, average P-E ratio ng company for the past 5 years, okay? Okay guys, nandito tayo sa BPI Trade para makuha yung average P-E ratio ni Jamie 7 for the past 5 years. So, ito siya, no? So, i-average lang muna natin itong P-E ratio niya. Okay? Okay, so, yung average P-E ratio ni uh, Jamie 7 for the past 5 years ay umabot ng 11.36, no? So, ito yung gagamitin natin para makuha yung ating future market capitalization ni Jamie, okay? Ang gagawin natin, itong P-E ratio natin na average sa times na natin siya doon sa ating forecasted net income. Okay guys? So, yung ating future market capitalization kay Jemmy7 ay umabot ng 25.45 billion pesos market capitalizations. No? So, ang gagawin natin para makuha yung intrinsic value ni uh, Jemmy7, pupunta tayo sa Reuters. Okay guys, okay guys nandito tayo sa Reuters. No? So, kung titignan natin yung kanya market capitalization ngayon ay nasa 17.141. No? 
So, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin itong a 17 billion um, current market cap ni uh, JMA. Okay? Then, divide natin siya doon sa ating future market capitalization para makuha natin yung intrinsic value ni JMA ngayon. Okay? Guys, okay, so na input na natin siya. Divide natin siya sa ating future market cap niya. Okay? Kasi yung ating nakuhang sagot sa kanya ay nasa 0.67 so, ang gagawin natin dito, kukunin natin yung kanyang current price. Okay? Which is ito, no? Itong current price, so, i-divide natin siya dito para makuha yung ating intrinsic value kay JME7 ngayon. Okay? Ayun, okay guys? Okay, so, ating intrinsic value ngayon kay JME7 ay nasa 7.7, no? Okay? So, okay, so, alam na natin yung intrinsic value sa kanya or fair value sa kanya. So, ngayon, titignan natin, no? Kung bibili ba tayo sa kanya, in terms of intrinsic value alone sa kanya, no? Okay, so ang gagawin natin, ito times natin siya sa uh, 0.80 uh, para makuha yung 20% margin of safety natin sa kanya or uh, okay yung margin of safety natin sa kanya. Meaning, kapag uh, bumaba sa ating margin of safety yung price o current price ni uh, ni GMA, so it, it is considered a buy ratings in terms of intrinsic value alone kay GMA 7. Okay? So, na meron siyang intrinsic value na 6.16. So, meaning, oh, meaning kapag bumaba dito sa 6.16 yung presyo, it is considered a buy ratings kay JME7. So, nakita natin no, na uh, nandito siya, uh, nasa 5.16 yung ating current price and nasa 6.16 ang ating margin of safety sa kanya. So, in this uh, intrinsic value, no, nakikita natin na uh, undervalue si JME7 in terms of intrinsic value alone. Okay? So, okay guys. So, this is my opinion, no? So, what do you think, guys? Why do you think JMS7 is a good buy at 5.16 right now? Please, kung hindi nyo pa nalalike yung video na to, no? Please like and subscribe para update kayo sa mga videos na parating, no? So, re recap lang tayo sa ating intrinsic value kay JMS7. So, yung ating intrinsic value kay JMS7 ay nasa 7.7. .7. And, yung ating margin of safety sa kanya is nasa 6.16, no? So, kapag bumabas sa margin of safety natin yung ating current price, it is considered a buy ratings alone in terms of intrinsic value, no? So, yung margin of safety, ito yung ating buffer, no? From, other int from intrinsic value, okay? Kumbaga, pag bumaba dyan, it is considered a sale in terms of intrinsic value alone, Okay? And yung ating current price kay GM7 ay nasa 5.16 ng time na ina-analyze natin siya, no? So, nakikita natin na mas mababa yung ating current price kaysa margin of safety. O, so, meaning yan, uh, it is, meron tayong potential upside kay GM7 ng 32.98% kapag na siya yung ating intrinsic value, no? Yung fair value ni GM7. Okay, guys? So, ito yung summary ng uh, part 2, no? Ng GM7. So, nakikita natin dito yung kanilang red zone is unstable dividend track record and highly volatile share price over the past 3 months. Nakita naman natin no kanina sa technical analysis. Okay? And yung nakita naman natin green zone kay JM7 no. The company is currently profitable, okay? Earnings have grown by 0.9% over the past year or the past 5 years. They are debt free no. So wala silang utang. So yun yung kagandahan din kay JM7. The company earnings are high quality. Profit margin improved or JME7 became profitable. And at least 3 years of financial data is available. And no concerning event detected tayo sa kanya. Shareholders have not been meaningfully diluted in the past year or recently. No? And also yung kanilang revenue is meaningful and the market cap is meaningful. Okay, so nakikita natin dito sa pag-analyze ng stocks, no? Um, nakikita natin yung strength at weaknesses ng company, no? So, bago tayo mag-invest sa company, talagang dapat tignan natin, no? At naiintindihan natin yung company. Kasi kung hindi mo naiintindihan kung ano yung kinukontribute ng company sa ekonomiya, at hindi mo naiintindihan kung ano yung business model niya, huwag ka na mag-invest, okay? Sabi nga ni Warren Buffett, you have to stay to your circle of competence. Okay, guys? And syempre, ka Kapag nalaman natin yung strength or weaknesses, magkakaroon tayo ng matibay na pundasyon at matibay na conclusion sa, sa company na gusto nating pasukan. Okay? So, yun lang muna guys ang meron sa um, kay Jamie Seven na pag-analyze natin sa kanya. So, yun lang muna guys ang ating analyzation sa kanya. 
no? So, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo guys. And as always, uh, invest wisely and see you on the other side. Hello guys, maraming salamat sa panonood. Sana marami kayo natutunan sa video na to. So, kung hindi pa kayo nakaka-subscribe, so please subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga videos na parating at marami pa kayo matutunan sa channel na ito. So, maraming salamat. This is PSE Warrior saying, trade well, trade strong, and trade smart.